Thank you, uh, Mr. President. On behalf of the members of the IPU Working Group on Science and Technology, I'm pleased to report on our meeting held on the 13th of March uh, here in Bahrain, uh, and also uh, on our project of the Science for Peace schools held in December uh, at CERN in Switzerland and in France. Before I go into my report, I want to say that we uh, at uh, our assembly have passed resolutions that if delivered upon will make a real difference uh, for the people that we all represent. These complement the global commitments on topics such as climate action and the sustainable development goals. But as we hear from every corner of the world, we must focus on the delivery of these commitments and resolutions. We are facing unprecedented or even wicked problems uh, in our world today. Climate change, energy insecurity, digital and green transitions, uh, 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 and AI. The implementation of the actions to address these challenges is through policy change and legislative change. And we, as members of parliament, are instrumental in delivering that. The IPU is the greatest reservoir in the world of practical solutions uh, that work and the ones that have failed. And we need to be sharing these with each other, not just informally outside this room, but here in the assembly itself. There is no more powerful an argument for new legislation or for policy change on the floor of each of our parliaments than the practical examples of what has actually worked in other countries. And let us learn to share that knowledge. And the role of our working group is to build on that sharing of knowledge, to help each and every one of you as parliamentarians to access the vast reservoir of new potential solutions that science holds to emerging problems, as well as the existing ones that we have already paid through our taxation and vast government grants uh, for these solutions in the first place. Here at our, our meeting this week, we agreed to the work programme for 2023, which reflects our engagement uh, and dialogue between science and politics. We agreed to officially participate in the Science Summit in New York, which will be held from the 13th to the 29th of September will be able to identify ways in which science can contribute to the global challenges and ensure a continuous dialogue between parliamentarians and the scientific community while developing and launching science collaborations to support uh, the uh, achievement of the Sustainable Development Goals. We've also agreed to collaborate with the Interparliamentary uh, Union Standing Committee on Sustainable Development and UN Affairs to develop and present a key report to the Science Summit, reinforcing the, reinforcing the role of parliamentarians in setting the global agenda. We've also agreed to organise an IPU day as part of the summit, which will focus on the contribution of the IPU in general and parliamentarians in particular to achieving the Sustainable Development Goals with the goal of facilitating direct parliamentary engagement with scientists to ensure a more policy-focused approach to the delivery of the Sustainable Development Goals. And I'm asking you and your colleagues here to support us in that initiative because without your support, we will not uh, succeed. We also agreed to participate as observers in the 26th session of the United Nations Commission on Science and Technology for Development, which will be held in Geneva uh, from the 27th to the 31st of March, and where we will actively be contributing uh, to those discussions. One of the joint initiatives that our committee has been involved in, along with the uh, Middle East Questions uh, Committee, that is the Science for Peace Schools. The aim of the school is to bridge the worlds of science and politics by initiating dialogue and helping to create a community of parliamentary experts to address challenges together under a neutral umbrella of science. 24 participants from all of the geopolitical groups attended the five days of lectures and workshops and visits uh, in relation to the theme of, of water scarcity at CERN uh, last December. And as uh, Mrs. Bonvenise 
uh, has already outlined, the first session provided a space for participants to exchange experiences on evidence-based decision-making and to learn how methods of scientific collaboration could be used to solve the problems that we are now facing in parts of the world like the Middle East and in the Sahel uh, region, two regions that are challenged in terms of water scarcity. The working group agreed to hold a follow-up conference for parliamentarians which will focus on water and food security in June at the International Centre for Interdisciplinary Science and Education in Khoinan in uh, Vietnam. And a second session focused on climate action later this year, culminating with uh, a meeting at COP28 at the United Arab Emirates uh, in December. We also agreed to pursue several pilot projects on engagement uh, between the scientific community and parliaments. We discussed a proposed process aimed at improving awareness of the need for scientific engagement in the legislative process. Uh, conclusions and recommendations from each of the parliaments participating in this progress, process will be used to develop a practical parliamentary toolkit on the importance of scientific engagement in parliamentary decision making. Our plan is to develop, review and approve a toolkit at our meeting during the 147th IPU Assembly in Angola this uh, October. We also, as a working group, noted and welcomed the uh, decision by the Committee on Peace and International Security in terms of their cyber crime report, where we did flag concerns about the establishment of a cyber security working group. We believe that working in conjunction uh, with the Peace and International Security Committee, as we're doing with other committees, we can support them in carrying out that uh, particular and delivering on their particular resolutions rather than the establishment of a new committee. Before ending our meeting, we re-elected our Vice Chair, uh, Ms. Saha Atta from um, Egypt, uh, wishing and I wish her a very productive mandate over the next two years. Finally, uh, members and colleagues, our constituents don't care about the theories of the resolutions. They are only interested in, in results. And as we know, the Sustainable Development Goals are all about breaking down silos to deliver a set of cross-cutting objectives for the people in our individual countries and the countries of the world to make it a better place for all. So let's start using science and the practical knowledge that it brings us to break down those silos in the benefit to benefit all of our peoples across the globe. And I'll end my report by thanking the Government of Bahrain and the Parliament for hosting this meeting. Thank you.